Hello, this is nutrition Sushma Jaiswal. I deal in preventive, protective, palliative and curative healthcare. My organization is Swasti Nutrition. Right now I'm working in Martha Hali, Bangalore. Generally, we require 40 grams of fiber on a daily basis. Some studies say that we require 50 grams of fiber per day. However, the amount of fiber we are getting in the diet these days, current diet, is not more than 5 to 7 grams per person. So fiber is lacking a lot and um, with the refined and uh, fast foods, you know, we are not getting the fiber that we should get. And especially with the use of lots of modern practices like preservatives and uh, pesticides. So uh, people are uh, removing the peel of the vegetables and fruits and uh, eating so that the fiber is the basically skin of uh, any food. So um, like lokis or uh, torei or karela, I mean all their skin is edible. And earlier we used to eat those, you know, so we used to get not only the fiber rich food but also antioxidants because antioxidants are mostly there on the skin of the fruits and vegetables. So now since we are removing the skin, we are removing the fiber, we are removing the antioxidants and we are not getting the complete food. So we are not able to prevent many many diseases which are coming due to lack of fiber in our diet. Fiber is a carbohydrate that is not absorbed by the body, that is not broken down by the body. So it adds bulk to the body and it stays longer in the system and it makes you feel less hungry, I mean uh, less hunger pangs uh, sort of thing. The fiber is of two types, soluble and insoluble. And both the fibers are very helpful in uh, absorption of many nutrients from the body. Although the insoluble fiber adds roughage to the diet and uh, adds bulk and stays for longer so you don't get hunger pangs. So fiber helps in controlling and uh, preventing uh, gut diseases, diabetes, cholesterol and many more. How to get it? Well, nowadays uh, because of uh, all the uh, modern methods, fiber intake is very very low. So we have to include more fiber rich foods. For example, sprouts. Sprouts are very good for including fiber in the diet. So we have to eat sprouts every day to get some fiber. And uh, uh, you can make sprouts from all the kinds of whole lentils. So you will also get other nutrients with the sprouts like vitamin B and C which are uh, not there in the legumes but as you uh, soak them in the water and make sprouts the whole process also makes uh, vitamin C and B in the lentils and also many other nutrients are manufactured during the process of sprouting and can include lots of fruits and vegetables which you can eat with the skin so you have to take precaution of washing them so that you can get rid of maximum pesticides and preservatives so you have to wash the vegetables and fruits in the warm lukewarm water with salt so that with osmosis process it would take away many of the chemicals out of uh, the vegetables and then you can wash it with the plain water and use it with the skin and stay healthy